Welcome everyone, I am back. Today is July the 28th, 2022. We're gonna talk about Block Today, formerly known as Square. Where are price gonna go? Yeah, where do you think the market is about to move in Block? It's gonna be, is it going to explode? I'm gonna show you something that may reflect that Block is going to explode higher in price all by looking at price bars and volume and nothing else so if you guys want to join me welcome to the channel i keep it real here i give you all price predictions accordingly as to how we see it on the charts if it looked like the market's going to go up we will predict it if it looked like the market's going to go down i will predict that as well so if you guys want the real without the confusion without the complexities then make sure you join me here hit that like button share the video also subscribe tap that bell notification as well because I want you to win. I want you all to learn as much as possible to see for yourself that it's doable, that you can actually predict prices and win in the market. Check this out. I did a video on block, right? You guys can see it. June 23rd. Now, I was looking for the market and block to go down. And look at how many days the market did not go down. Think about it. If you're looking for a market to do one thing, but it does something totally different, then that means that you need to revamp, revise, or change your idea, your mentality. The market gives you how you need to be thinking. If it's not doing what you expected it to do, then it's telling you, you need to change your mind. I'm trying to show you that I'm trying to lift the price up. This is what the market is telling us every day that it trades. We can see, since I did my video in block on the 23rd of June, that the market is not trying to go down. I get that. And when you see it consistently come in and how the market is not acting the way that you expected it, you need to say, I need to change. There's nothing wrong with changing. You have to be agile. You got to be versatile when you come into the stocks. When you play in the stock market, you, you cannot be firm and cemented in your original analysis because you will lose. Check this out. I didn't get this right. I know it. I understand it. This is one of the reasons why we can expect the market and block to explode, to, to run up, to continue to move higher because the overall market participants is telling us, look, they're not trying to lower the price. No lower than $60.50. I take note of these type of things. So that lets me know I need to go ahead and cut this. If I were to get on the last trade of yesterday as 19 and three quarters of a percent loss. Now that's nothing if we're gonna to continue to predict price in block to run up. You see that? If the market continues to run up, the losses will continue to run up too. And that's something that we don't do here. If we see the market is going against our original idea, we need to cut it. So let's cut it, okay? Now, let's get back to it. One of the biggest things I wanna show you um, that would say that the buyers are coming into the market is here. They have been buying up this stock around 60. Okay. This is where the buyers currently lie. They, they're there around 60. So under any pretense, as long as the market in block holds $60, we know that the buyers are still controlling the overall direction of this stock. Okay. We still see that. So let me go ahead. That's one reason that we understand that the trend is in favor of the buyers. The trend is in favor of price continuing to move higher, right? You guys can also see here. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. You guys can also see here that price is in an uptrend as well. Okay. Very good. Now, we all need to be aware. Next week, Block is going to release his earnings. Expect volatility to come through. It might even lower the price back down to either this ascending line or back down to 60 to scare everybody. Right. But I've already told you, as long as the market in block holds $60, we know that the market is still in the control of the buyers It's in favor of the buyers. Break 60, then we know that the sellers are in full control of this market in block. Just that simple. Well, we should know how to act. Now, look at block on a two day. Okay, I still like it. I still see the bullishness on the chart. My only concern 
is how high this price is going to go before sellers enter back in. Look at this. We've already seen market get rejected at $76.50. That's an issue. That's a problem. Okay. Issue problem. Now the market currently is still reflecting that it wants to move higher. This also is another problem in block right there. This three day price bar lets me know that sellers are still positioned within this price range. They're still here between 7650, 75, all the way down to 65. Okay. Five day chart in block you guys can see right here currently we're still seeing the strength and one of the biggest things that lets me know that buyers are willing to buy block here is because on these five day price bars right here the market has gotten inundated with sellers right on this five day price bar then even on this one but the market is still trending higher still so somebody is willing to accept the risk Somebody is, is expecting this market to move higher in block. Now, the ultimate objective may be for block to run up to like $87. Okay. I'll say $87 to $85. That, that may be the point to how high this market ultimately may go before this continuation of downtrend run its course. Okay. Now. So I'm going to continue to be expecting uh, the price in block to run up. I'm looking for the market to continue to move higher. Okay, now keep it real. My first price target is going to be right there around 80. That's only 9% movement higher. My second one is going to be around 84.75. It's like 16%. And that's it. First one is 80. Second one's around like 85. No higher than that right now. And the support area will have to we will have to see the market in block continue to hold itself around $56. Okay. Definitely no lower than 60. I said 60. So we'll do 60. Okay. So now we bring this back to the daily time frame because we're going to follow this market. Okay. Now I'm going to continue to hold 60. I'm going to get rid of this trend line because I understand we are in an upward trend, but I don't want to see the market break no lower than 60 because if it breaks 60, then we understand that the trend is still weak. All right. So be watchful of this earnings right here and see the price reaction to it because if the market reacts violently and it comes down to 60 but it doesn't break 60 then that tells you that the buyers are still willing to buy up this stock okay and that's it give me your idea tell me where you think the market's going to go i have given you mine i've given you my price targets and i don't know what is your price targets and that block make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different